everyone, my name is Debbie and I'm a full-time reseller. Today, I would like to talk to you about eBay International Shipping and why I think you should incorporate it into your reselling business if you are not already. As of today, I have sold over a quarter of a million dollars selling internationally on eBay. Now, that's over the course of 16 and a half years, so I need to divide that out and it's actually $266,019.92. So over 16 and a half years, that is $16,122 a year or $1,343 a month, which is a lot of money. And I'm really, really happy about that and so glad that I chose long ago to incorporate international shipping. And there are a lot of common fears and misconceptions about shipping internationally, so I hope to help smash some of those today. And I think some of them come from stories from way back in the day about how it was really difficult to ship internationally. You had to fill out all these forms. It was four pages that you had to fill out by hand. You had to take it to the post office, have them sign each page. You had to wait in line. Back then I had three little ones, so I had to go <laughs> wait in line with my three kids and it was a pain, but it was worth it. And I'm so glad that I did do it. Uh, back then, you often did not have the tracking go any further after it left the United States. So I would never really know if anything got there until they told me that it got there. But a lot of these things have changed now and it is so simple to ship internationally. So I'm going to give you an overview of the different methods. There is the eBay Global Shipping Program. There is the eBay International Shipping, or you can just ship regular USPS, First Class International, or Priority International. So I'll go over each of those with you, and I will let you know which one I prefer and think is best at the end, the advantages and disadvantages of each, and then I'm actually going to show you my screen as I list an item and offer international shipping so you can see exactly which boxes you check, what you do if you want to list internationally. Then I will also show my screen as I ship internationally and I'll show you shipping through the global shipping program as well as the eBay standard international delivery and just regular USPS. So you'll get to see actually what it takes and just how easy it really is. So by the end of this video, my goal is to give you a good overview and understanding so you can decide for yourself if shipping internationally is right for you. So to start with a little bit of an overview, in order to sell internationally on eBay, you have to have an account that is in good standing. You have to have a feedback of 10 and you have to be on eBay for at least 90 days. And you can select the items that you want to provide international shipping for. So you don't have to put it on all of your items. You can pick which ones you want to include. And this just opens up a much wider audience to sell to. And to all of us, time is money. Whether this is your side gig and you have a full-time job and you're doing this in the evenings or the mornings, or you're a mom raising kids and trying to just get in as much as you can, or no matter what your circumstance is, time is always money. And the more efficient you can be and the, the more you can do with each hour of the day, the more money you will make. And so if you are able to put your items out there to a much wider audience and give them the potential to sell a lot faster, that is bringing in more income quickly that you're able to purchase other items and list more items. And so it just, it makes a lot of sense to have a wider audience to sell to. Then low risk of return. That is a really common fear that I hear people talk about. And I have the exact opposite experience with that. My return rate on domestic shipping is 2.34% right now, which is pretty average. It remains 
right at that amount, which is not bad. And that's just kind of the cost of doing business. But my return rate for international is pretty close to zero. Right now on my rating, it does show zero because I think it's showing the last 90 days is zero. But I can only recall one return in all of those years on all of those shipments. And the person paid for it. It was no problem. They just said it didn't fit and they sent it back. They paid for it. So it was no problem for me. So really returns have not been a problem at all. Just the opposite. When I sell internationally, I'm like, oh, that's not going to be returned. <laughs> Just um, a couple months ago, I had a skirt that I had on a sold video and it was this Lululemon skirt and someone in the United States purchased it. They sent me an offer for like $45, which I accepted. They got it and I'm guessing it didn't fit because they returned it due to a stain on it. And so I took it back and relisted it. And a couple days later, it sold internationally for, I believe it was like $68 plus shipping. So it sold for more money. They got it. They were pleased, positive feedback, no return. So just in my experience, I always think, oh wow, that's a done deal <laughs> if, it's, uh, if it sells internationally. Usually those items are not returned. Then another thing that I really liked about shipping internationally is I have made friends from other countries, which is really, really neat. I've ended up exchanging Christmas presents with one person, got a housewarming gift when I moved from another. I It's just really neat the connections that you can make from all around the world. It also ended up opening up another business opportunity for me because as I talked to these people, they would tell me, oh gosh, I wish I could order from this store, this shirt, cost us $200 where we're at. I could get it on sale in your country for $40, but they won't ship to me. So we ended up working out. Well, buy it from the United States. I'll ship it to you for a fee. And so I had several people and then it got around word of mouth where they would make orders from stores for me to have shipped to my home. And then I would just get the item at my house and they would pay me like $40 to just take it to the post office and ship it to them. And so it ended up working out great for them because they were able to get items that were on sale here and I could ship it to them. And so even paying the international shipping and a small percentage to me, they ended up getting a better deal. So I thought that was really neat. And then another thing that I really like about it was it was a great learning opportunity for my children. Every time an international cell would come in, we would look up the country and we would find it on the globe and we would learn facts about that country. And it was just a really neat learning experience for my children. And I learned a lot too. And there were so many things that I didn't know about those countries that I was able to learn. So I loved that opportunity. And if I could go back, I wish that I had purchased a map of the world and put up thumbtacks of everywhere that I sold to. And um, so if you are just starting out, that is a good idea. I think that would be really fun to do that. I wish I had done that. So now to go over the different shipping options, um, the first one that they offer is the eBay Global Shipping Program. And this one really truly is just about as simple as shipping domestic eBay handles everything for you. They just have you send it to them in Kentucky. You just pay the regular domestic shipping that it costs to go to Kentucky. You are completely covered. If something happens to the item, eBay takes care of it. They refund you. Um, there is seller protection if it arrives late or if something happens in transit that's out of your control, they take care of it. If you get a negative feedback um, because it arrived late or damaged, they take it off. So you actually, I feel like you have more protection selling that way than you do um, domestically. But on the flip side, it is a lot more expensive for the buyer. And when this program came out, I was only offering that exclusively. And I saw my international sales really drop. And I had people contact me and say, would you just ship this regular? Because the amount that they're charging me is astronomical. So I started 
adding in the USPS First Class International also, and I saw my sales go back up. Now, with the global, they charge them the customs fees, and that's why it's so inflated. On the First Class International, where I just ship it myself through USPS, that is not included. So there is a chance that when they get the item that they can be charged customs and duty fees. Now that's not very often that that actually happens. Usually if you um, have a declaration amount that the item was $50 in some countries or $100 or less, then they're not charged anything. So it's actually very rare that I had people tell me that they were charged a customs fee. And so, that is the only drawback on the global shipping program is you might not have as many buyers because the fees are so high. But if you want complete protection, you have it using that one. Then the next one is the eBay International Standard Delivery. And this one is really good because you still have a lot of protection. You have $100 of protection. So you file an insurance claim if something happens and you can actually purchase additional insurance if you would like to also. The rates are actually 9% off of the standard USPS rate. And I'll pop a little chart up here so that you can see. But I found that it's slightly lower than shipping through just regular USPS. And the cost is just based on the location. And so that one is a really good option, a lot of protection and the lowest rate. So if I had to pick one, that one would be my favorite. And on eBay, they ship to over 210 countries. So a lot of countries that are covered with these programs. Then the last one is the USPS First Class International or First Class Priority. And that one is really simple. Also, I'll go through the shipping with that so you can see you have to fill out just a little bit of information on both that one and the standard delivery, what the item is, the weight. You have to check a box, super, super simple, but I'll show you all that in a few minutes. And so the you don't get any protection with that one. So that is the drawback. You can add protection at the post office if you would like to, but I've never had a problem with it. So I like all three of them. I think just the, the very best choice, the one that I lean towards is the international eBay standard delivery, but the good thing is, is you can offer all of them. So I offer every single one and I let the buyer choose. That way they have options. Just like when I'm shipping domestically, I'll offer several options so that people can pick what way they would like their shipment to, to be delivered. So it's good to give them options. So next we will go and do a listing and some shipping so you can see exactly what it takes. Okay, here I am listing a pair of shoes and I won't make you go through the entire listing process. I will have future videos on step-by-step -step listing, but on this one, I'm just going to scroll down to the shipping area. If you go right below domestic shipping, it will have an option to sell internationally with the global shipping program and then underneath additional offerings. So I'm going to scroll right back up and just click that box that says sell internationally with global shipping program. It is that simple. Then if you would like to add other options, which I do, you click where you wanna to ship to and I put worldwide and I select eBay International Standard Delivery, then another worldwide USPS First Class International and then I'll put another one worldwide, USPS Priority International. So that gives them several options. You can also specify where you want to ship it to. Say you only want to ship to Canada. You can pick that if you'd like, but I always do worldwide because I'd like a wider market. Then there's also another area that you can click on international site visibility. Say I have an item that is sold a lot more in the UK. You can click that and it is 40 cents a month to have it shown more on, um, an international site such as eBay UK. So I'm not going to do that on this one, but there are certain things that I do. Then check your dimensions are correct. Make sure your weight is correct. And then I'm just going down. I'm going to boost my item. Usually I do like 2%, somewhere around 2%. And then you go down and submit your listing. It is that simple. 
Okay, I thought I would show one more listing where I will select international shipping because I thought of a couple more things to add in. First of all, when I list through the eBay app, it only lets me select one international shipping option. When I list on my laptop or if I open Safari on my phone and just go to www.ebay.com and sign into my account, I can choose more than one option on my phone that way, just not through the app. So now I have scrolled down to international shipping, just a check mark, and I have opted in to sell internationally with a global shipping program. Then I go right below that and select worldwide because I would like to ship everywhere and selected the eBay standard international shipping, which is the other one that is provided by eBay and it is duty free. So they are not paying duties when they are shipping through that service. So they could be charged when they receive it, but their shipping cost is a lot lower. That was the one that I said I actually prefer. Then I do worldwide and select e. Um, USPS First Class International. Now you can keep scrolling down from there and find all different USPS services and even UPS services if you would like to ship UPS. You can also exclude shipping locations. Say there's one area that you just don't want to ship to. On this one, I select Europe, which I would never select that because I get lots of great customers from Europe. But just to show you what you can do if there is a country that you do not want to ship to. I was thinking about the option that it provides for international site visibility, and I don't think you actually need to select that option if you are shipping through one of the eBay programs because it automatically gives visibility at those countries when you opt in to either of those shipping programs. So I think that would only be necessary if you are not selecting one of the eBay programs. And I also checked and it is not 40 cents any longer, it is 50. 50 cents to add that option per month. Okay, this is an item that I sold through the Global Shipping Program, and I'm going to use it as an example to show you just how easy it is to ship through the Global Shipping Program. It will allow me to do this by clicking on Print Another Label. So I click on Print Another Label, which if you were actually shipping, it would just say print label. And then you go down and I have it showing eight ounces. I have the dimensions in because I put those in when I listed it. Then it says ship it first class, just regular $3.57. And you go down and purchase your shipping label. That's it. Just the same as if you were shipping a domestic package. So super simple. I wanted to tell you a couple more things. If you see at the bottom, it shows that that did sell through the International Global Shipping Program. Also on my custom label, I put in there that I spent $2.50 on it, listed it on December 7th, and it sold on December the 16th. I don't think I would have sold it that quickly if I hadn't offered international shipping. Then I also wanted to show the actual tracking for the item and how detailed the information is that you get when shipping through the global shipping program. Okay, this is an example of how you ship something that they choose USPS First Class Mail International. They paid $29.75. They only spent $4.49 on the audiobook, but they paid a lot more for shipping. So this example will allow me to show you how to ship both just regular USPS first class or the standard international eBay delivery. So they're very simple. Um, I'm going to go to print another label since this is an item that I previously sold and shipped. They've already received it. Went to Australia. I'm going to have to block out their address and anything personal so I don't violate their privacy. Um, so uh, they selected just the regular USPS International, but here they put save up to 9% on international shipping. Choose eBay International Standard Delivery. So even if they just pick the regular USPS, 
first class international, you can still choose to use the eBay international standard delivery. So that is okay to do that. Now, um, I go below and I had already put the weight of two pounds so that I could put cushioning and put it in a box so that it would be safe. The dimensions I did not put in, which I should have, but I think it was like an eight by eight by four inch box. Then I go down below and this is where I can pick eBay international standard delivery. It's showing that it includes $100 of coverage and estimated delivery date and the price of $24. Now you could also select just the regular through the post office USPS first class package international. Um, it though is $28.26. So $4.26 more and you don't get that $100 of coverage. So the one that I prefer is the eBay International Standard Delivery. But the rest of the process is the exact same for either one that you choose. Now, this is the difference. The custom form, really easy. The item description, they already put in. Now, I'm going to simplify it so that the person that reads this, if they don't know the title of that audiobook, they might be a little confused. So I'm just going to put in audiobook so it's straightforward for them. Quantity one, value, that's what you sold it for. It's already plugged in. The weight of the item, this is not the total weight. So I'm going to put in 10 ounces because the audiobook alone weighs about 10 ounces. Then you come down below and you do the package weight. So the entire package with the packing paper and the box is two pounds. Now, if you have multiple items in your package, you just simply click add another item and you can fill out the same information as in the first line. So say you had a shirt in there also. You could put shirt, quantity one, it was worth $10, it weighed eight ounces. So then the other thing is down here, they wanna know, is it a sample, is it gift, documents, merchandise, and if you sold it on eBay, it's merchandise. That's already pre-filled in, so you don't even have to change that. Then the last thing that you have to do is agree that you have read this the shipping regulations and restrictions and for the things that I sell they're pretty basic clothing books things like that now if it's something that I'm not sure about say I have something that's liquid or flammable or something like that that I'm not sure I would go through and make sure that it is not a restricted item um, so always be sure and check that then you go down below and you click purchase the shipping label. It prints out on just a regular size shipping label, no different from domestic. And that is it, really, really easy. Okay, well, if you're still with me, thank you for sticking with me. And I hope this gave you just a little bit more information on shipping internationally and can help you decide whether it is right for you. If there are any questions that I didn't answer, that I didn't think of, if you would like to put them in the comments below, I would be more than happy to answer any kind of questions that you have or walk you through anything else if you have more questions about this. So thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.